Okay. Finding things to do in this uh, sad times in the workshop. This coronavirus, you got to keep yourself busy. A little project uh, I've been wanting to do. I'll just show you now. I have a picture. I think you can see that. Yeah. I'm going to be making a cant twist clamp. Just thought it'd be a good bit of fun. There's something to do. I may do it over a few days, I don't know. Um, I don't want to rush it. I could be off work for quite some time yet so I'll do little snippets of my progress so I've started off with a picture I've gone from a picture over there what I've made I don't know if it's going to work or not, but we'll try it. It's good fun. I drilled the hole there in the wrong place. It should have been there. So, basically, got four pieces of metal. I'll tell you what diameter of the metal is. I'll hit this metal is. In a moment. So the metal thickness I'm using is 2.1 millimetres. Just some old crap I had lying around. <laughs> so I've made four pieces. I've not yet deburred round the edges. Just a bit more file work to do, but you can basically see the operation of it. Maybe I just did it just purely from a picture. I have no measurements whatsoever. It's just uh, trial and error, really. We all like to have a go at things now and again. So anyway. So the next part of the job will be making a load of step pins. I'm not quite sure yet what I'll do. I'll, I'll make a couple and get some sort of guesstimates and then uh, I'll show you making those. So for now we'll say bye bye and we'll bring you back when we're a bit further on okay bye for now okay well it's just a 920 lathe got my collet chuck on here on the lathe we're now going to turn this down from 8 mil to 6 mil just a portion of it so uh, I'll put a tool in the lathe and then we will proceed square that up a little bit down to the last few uh, bits now to feed when it wants to go in okay cage and feed
I'm not, let's just check it. About 17 millimeters in length. Let me go to 18 mils. Okay. Way. Oh yes, that's just perfect. That is a little bit on the long side, but we can always trim it down a little bit. Didn't need a lot of it. I'll just touch it up with a file, quick file. With that being done now, I think the next thing is to fit it up and then make a knob or an handle, whichever. I haven't decided yet. So, uh, over to the bench we go. Bring you back in a moment. Okay, it's another day. Um, I've got most of the parts made, I didn't show you the machining of all the parts, um, the cutting out, the lathe work really, um, it's all stuff you know. Um, I have one component left to drill and tap for 8mm. I need a piece of 8mm threaded rod, I need a section of it turned down to 6mm approximately to go through that whole, uh, the whole, uh. so, um, I've cut a couple of blocks, aluminium blocks. I put a, a V-way in that there for holding round stock on both of them. Both of them, yeah. Uh, I've left the other three sides flat at the moment. <coughs> I may retain these with a bolt so that I can then further machine any other type of grooves I need on these uh, blocks. So all I'll do now, we'll take you over to the milling machine. I've pre-drilled a hole. I'm just boring it out with a 7mm now to take an 8mm thread. So we'll go over to the milling machine. That's pretty much the last uh, part of it. Then I'll assemble it. I may show you the machine of the 8mm thread. I'm not sure if I'm going to single point thread it or see if I've got a piece of all thread. So I'll take you over to the milling machine now. I'm just finished drawing and tapping the last piece. So bear with me a minute. Oh 
Okay. I'll wind you in a, zoom you in a little bit. As you can see, the last component is in the vise. I have drilled a six millimeter hole through it, or approximately six mil. Now I am going to drill the 7.7 mil to take an eight mil thread. Sorry, 7.5 for an eight mil thread. Run that about 600 rpm, not too quick. There's a bit of lube. The drill's not the sharpest, but it's drilling. Yeah, one foot's doing more work than the other. Need to resharp me. I have removed the parallels from underneath, just in case you're wondering. Okay, so we'll take the 7.5 drill out. I'm going to be using an 8mm taper tap to start with a number one I think it is I'm going to start it off with the milling machine and we'll start off straight <clears throat> and then I'll probably hand thread the rest I'll probably need to get my tap handle in a moment Yeah, so we jammed it in a good way. Retract the head back and just bear with me a moment, I'll get a tapping handle. So my trusty old tapping handle, I've had this a good few years. Have we got enough room to go right round? Just, yep. So wind that through. Just a bit more lube. Okay. Okay, we're right through right down to the bottom of the tap that looks quite a good thread in there I will go down with a bottoming tap now not as I think I need to, but I will do. Okay, we're through. quite out just yet <laughs> yep that's a good thread I will get an 8 mil bolt and I'll just try that just getting a, a 8 mil cap head bolt there just to try it 
Yeah, that's perfect. Perfect. Yep, that runs through no problems. A little bit deburring on that. Take that out of the vise. A few burrs on the bottom to remove. As you can probably see. Okay. What I'll do now is um, I'll assemble it all together as far as I've got, and then I'll bring you back when we're machining the last part of the puzzle. Okay, I found a bit of uh, scrap aluminium bar. Um, our first job would be to face off, drill a 7mm hole, thread it for 8mm and then flip it round and probably put a bit of a nail on it. So here we go. RPM at the moment. Reducing me this part down a little bit. Just to make it look a little bit better. Okay, that was quite good there. A little shampoo on this edge while we've got it, these edges. Angle the two a little bit. Bring in the tail stock and we'll drill a 7mm hole through. So just move the camera back a little bit. Sorry about this, but so this is the camera shake. Okay, away we go. about to break through. I'll leave it at that. I'll leave it at that for now. What we will do now, 
Oh, removed the seven mil drill bit. Put an eight mil <coughs> number two in to start with, or number one, sorry. And I'm going to simply I'll put a bit of lube on it. And I'm going to use the jog creature on my lathe. Simple as that. Good to put a bottom and tap in. Do the same thing. We'd lock the uh, chuck up. Okay. The lathe getting uh, a bit dirty, it could do with a good clean off. I'll turn that round. Chuck. Just crimp, crimp that in just very lightly. Same procedure again. Facing cut. And I think we're going to nail it now. Edge on that. A 45 degree tool. Looks okay for me. tool my own made uh, nailing tool I made a while back I need to square that up a little bit <clears throat> the jar up a bit I won't have to put a lot of nail on this I don't suppose that's probably about that there. I do use a jab to make sure we're clear. Okay. That's where I'm going to be able to nail a part of it. A load of oil. So I'm going to use the jog creature, I think, just to nail it. a little bit of tension on here
take a look at that see what we've got quick blast of air Okay, it's good sharp now. Take the new material off and put it back in its place. Just give that a wipe over. And there you have it, that's the knob. I don't know if I'm going to stick with this or not for sure, I'll have to try it out. That's as much nearly as I can get as I can get on there because it's that close to chuck unless I put a piece of threaded rod in there and re-thread it, uh, re nail it should say, the other way. But for now I think that will do. So what I will do, um, I have taken some still pictures, I will include those in the video. I'm not sure at the start of the video or wherever in the video. I'll show you the the uh, the, the final final uh, fitting of the screw and everything. Show you how it works. And then uh, that's another project done. Okay, catch you in a while. Okay, final part. We've just made the knob. And um, we've um, lock tightened it onto there. I've just opened it up to its full capacity. I'll just measure that now. What we can get. I don't know if it's showing up or not. Fifty two mil. Tight. Fifty four mil. Or for the American guys, two and one eighth of an inch. That's its maximum capacity. <clears throat> so I'm quite uh, pleased how it works. Good little project. Um, I will be making another one. So if you want to see the full process of me making these, <clears throat> um, leave a comment to say so, if you'd like to see the full video. It would be quite a long one. So that's my version of a cant twist clamp. I've used some three millimeter, four millimeter bolts here. Not sure if I'm going to keep these um, these aluminium blocks. I may use some hardened steel blocks yet. I don't know for sure. <laughs> right, the compressor just fired up. <laughs> Oh, sorry about that. So, it's been a good project. Let me know in the comments. So, thank you for watching. Thanks for subscribing. 
if you've got something to say leave a comment and uh, be safe while this uh, virus is going around might make give inspire somebody to uh, make one of these I don't know it's quite simple to make I literally did it from a picture I sized it from a picture that's all I've done seems to work okay so with that being said it's chopper 316 say tata for now so we'll catch you on the next one bye bye